Pardon. Shalom. Uh, Barakatah Yahweh. Barakatah Yahweh Shah. You know, call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Which I just said, uh, bless the Most High, bless, bless the uh, Heavenly Father, Son Yahweh Shah. And um, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Of course, uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Now, the picture's getting clear, you know, as far as the prophecies are concerned. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he set the apostles up to uh, teach this word and, and, and spearhead the push of this word and since 2007. And you've seen uh, multiple Great Millstone camps you even got other camps that teach the same doctrine as Great Millstone, but they, you know, they don't, you know, they they, uh, they might not learn from the elders or so on and so forth, but if Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is dealing with those brothers, then um, those brothers could consider themselves blessed, okay? Now, we have um, uh, the new news that came out. Um, I caught one of a Saturday at camp. Um, I was speaking to the brother, but that, uh, story of the uh, company out of Wisconsin um, subsidizing for their employees or pushing their employees to get the chip, which we know is the mark of the beast. Contrary to popular belief, we know that that is the mark of the beast. And we know it's a gradual push by Esau um, to get the, 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 the population to accept that mark of the beast. And we know that they do it in segments of the population. You know, we know that first they're gonna come for employees, they're gonna test run it, they're gonna push it out on mainstream media, you know, in phases, and then you're gonna have an a, a, a uproar of the people, so to speak, and then you're gonna have the debates. Should we make the American people get the chip, or should we not get the chip, then it's gonna become mandatory. Now, as we're, as we're uh, looking at things that are taking place on uh, throughout the global economy or throughout the global, on the global forefront or geopolitical um, things taking place, this is the perfect condition for this mark of the beast to be implemented. And now today is, uh, I believe, July the 25th or the 26th. Uh, July the 25th, which uh, summer, Summer will be over before you know it, and as you know, fall takes place, and a lot of things take place in the fall, as far as, you know, wars are concerned, as far as the economy is concerned, you know, as far as uh, strife, political strife, you know, which we see is taking place, you know, throughout, you know, in America, throughout the world. And um, I just wanted to bring out some scriptures, you know, because uh, these scriptures, like Yahweh Shah said, these things that are written are going to be fulfilled. So, the first scripture I'm going to bring out is, uh, I'm going to bring out a few scriptures. I'm not going to try to make it too long, make the video too long. But uh, this is uh, Luke, the 21st chapter. And I'm going to start at the 22nd verse. Luke 21 and 22, it says, For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. And I'll read again, it says, For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. So, you know, all the things that are written in the scriptures, they're going to be fulfilled, you know? Especially the mark of the beast, the microchip. And when you go to the book of Revelation, we're going to go to that real quick. Go to the book of Revelation 13 and 16. Now it says, um, it says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, they wouldn't just implement the chip, you know, right, right out there. They got to gradually condition people, and it has to be a debate that takes place, similar to what they did with Obamacare, similar to what they did with these speed cameras, you know. They can't just push it out in the forefront that people want to be willing to accept it. You have to cre create the conditions that the average citizen will think, if I take this, this will be beneficial to me, or if I don't take it, you know, if I don't take this, you know, something will happen to me or my family. 
and that's what the state is doing. They're creating the conditions, they are consolidating power for this particular hour, the hour of martial law that's coming, or the hour of temptation that the scriptures speak of. And let me read that again in uh, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the name of his neck or the number of his name, Shalaki, the number of his name. Okay, so they're creating the conditions where no man is going to be able to buy or sell if he doesn't have this microchip, which is the size of a grain of rice, you know, which the Wisconsin company is spending $300 per employee to uh, uh, have this microchip injected in their employees, okay? Now, let's go to the book of Revelation 3 and 10, because the scriptures speak about a specific hour, you know, uh, uh, the, the hour of temptation. Okay, so this is Revelation 3 and 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, so this hour of temptation is when the, 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 uh, the mark of the beast, the radio frequency ID, is made mandatory that it, or it is, is mandated that everybody has to have a microchip in order to conduct business, conduct commerce, in order to live in this society, you know? Which, that's a, the system of the beast. Uh, the UN, uh, NATO, these UN, European Union, NATO countries, that's gonna be their form of currency, that's gonna be the form of them being able to track each and every citizen within their borders, you know? Or throughout the whole, throughout the four corners of the, uh, uh, throughout the planet Earth, uh, a branded system, uh, a system of slavery, because the social security number wasn't enough for these devils. They need to know who you are, where you are, at all times. You have to be a complete slave to this system, this new world order system that's coming. So that's why the scriptures speak about the hour temptation, you know, which is going to be a transitioning of one way of life or one form of life like we see now, you can, you're, uh, uh, you can go wherever you want to go to a certain extent, you know, you so-called have the illusions of liberties, or I mean illusions of freedoms, which are liberties given by the state. And uh, it's not totalitarian, to a totalitarian, a complete totalitarian dictatorship under the so-called white man, these elite international bankers, uh, uh, the New World Order system. So I'm gonna read it again, it says, um, Revelation 3 and 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, so I'm, I looked up the word temptation in the Greek, and what I found, the word is uh, piarazimos, 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 let me see, para. Strong's G, 3986, Pyrasmas, Pyrasmas. Pyrasmas, Pyrasmas, okay? So when you look that word up, that's uh, Strong's G, 3986. It means an experiment, attempt, trial proving, trial proving, the trial made of you by my bodily conditions. Okay, it says, um, since conditions serve as to test the love of the Galatians towards Paul. Um, it says, B, the trial of man's fidelity, the trial of man's, another word for fidelity, could be uh, faith, I believe, fidelity, fit, uh, fit, fit, or fi, fidelity, integrity, virtue, constancy, you know, an enticement to sin, temptation, whether arising from the desire or from the outward circumstances. Now the outward circumstances in which our people, uh, the elect ultimately, because this is for the elect, the Lord said, because you have kept his patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, the trying, um, the trying 
or, or, or the proving or, or the trial of man's fidelity, integrity, and virtue. Our virtue is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now the Lord said, because we kept his patience, he shall keep us from this hour of temptation. So the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has to put, he, he's going to put a specific spirit on his elect that's not going to be swayed by the outward circumstances and what's going on around them. Because there's going to be a time of martial law. The scriptures say a time of a time since never was on the face of the earth, on the face of the earth. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to put a specific spirit upon his men that are going to overcome uh, uh, the trial of their faith, whether it be through death or deliverance. Remember what I read in uh, Luke 21 and 22 that all things that are written must be fulfilled. So I'm going to go through. Uh, I'm going to go to. Um, I think this is a uh, man. second. Yeah, I'm going to go to Revelation 20, the book of Revelation 20 and 4. Um, it says, and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah and for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah a thousand years. Now, when John saw the uh, Shalakia, when John saw the vision, he saw the souls of the, the men that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah, and the men that dealt with the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which is us, you know, starting with the, uh, the elder apostles of Great Millstone. We've been dealing with the word. Of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This word took off in, in, in late 2007 and it's being made manifest right before our eyes, you know? And the, uh, the apostle, um, the apostle John on the island of Patmos, Patmos, he saw uh, the souls of the, uh, the men that were beheaded for the witness and the testimony of Yahweh Shah, proving that there's gonna be some men that are martyrs for this word, but what, what happened to them? They lived and they reigned with Yahweh Shah for a thousand years, man. You know? And they're ultimately going to get the victory over this devil. Uh, uh, he's going to get the victory over this devil, Esau, when he comes and administers his uh, chip, his radio frequency ID chip. And um, he cre he's going to create the circumstances in which people are going to be enticed to take the chip through uh, different forms of terrorism because. I'm gonna get another scripture, but there's gonna be so much activity when this third war, world war pops up that the government or the state is gonna to need to know if you're an enemy combatant or if you're uh, 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 in subjection to the new world order through this third world's war because you're gonna have so much state-sponsored terror inside these United States of America, it's not gonna be funny. Because right now, you, uh, uh, the government, they use 9-11 and these different terrorist boogeyman um, events to take the freedoms away from, um, the liberties away from the people and, and track the people and control the people and create the conditions for this microchip to uh, uh, be implemented throughout the uh, four corners of planet Earth. But in that process, they've created and they've done so much wickedness that when these nations go to war with Babylon the Great, or America, all of these Western conglomerate countries under the EU and NATO, that there's gonna be so much state-sponsored terror coming from these different countries like China, Russia, Iran, you know, these different countries that have their sleeper agents within the borders of America, that they're gonna to need to know who's who, you know, who's who. So, in order to accomplish that, in order to give ammunition for the government to go ahead with pushing the market of peace. And you're gonna see all of this in your news. You're gonna see the debate of should we get the should we get the people microchip or not. You're gonna see these different debates taking place on CNN, headline news, you know. Gradually these stories are getting pushed. When the Elder Tahar did a video on um, you know, the different news clippings of the Wisconsin company pushing um, the microchip. 
who popped up, your usual suspects uh, in, the, in the news media. Associated Press probably did a, 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 a information on that, which is uh, controlled by the Rothschilds, um, elite bankers, Reuters. But you see New York, the New York Post, you see the Washington Post, you see these different news organizations, NBC News, picking up these stories. And you're going to see more stories about the radio frequency ID, especially when it comes to airport travel, when it comes to, uh, 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 when it comes to, um, tracking children down the battlefield when it comes to immigration reform. These debates and these talks are gonna be spoken about. I mean, are gonna be talked about. I mean, they're gonna be talked about. Uh, this radio frequency ID chipping the people, you know, and uh, Joe Biden spoke about that. So I just wanted to bring this video out. At the end of the day, everything that is written must be fulfilled. Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So we have Yahweh Shah through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, the men of uh, Great Millstone, we were speaking prophecy way before it came to pass, and now that it's coming to pass, all of the people, all of the people that didn't have the spirit of prophecy, that called themselves Israelites, you know, that, that's where you're gonna have that separation, man. You're gonna see that separation, you know. So, you know, with that, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim al Shah and uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Until next time, shalom.